doubt about him. Nigga, you ain't even throw a dollar. Huh, and I ain't talking twenty dollars. Got bills and a bitch got kids. Plus us red dude, it's expensive where I live. I need a couple outfits, newbies on my feet. We nail dudes, we being pretty ain't cheap, nigga. So if you give a coin or you bluff Cause I ain't tryna talk to you for nothing. Just in case you couldn't get the hit, no you can't get no pussy. Can't play a bitch right. Bro, bro, niggas talk and get it from me. Nigga, stay telling lies. Nigga, tell me what you drive. Nigga, pop Polly in the Honda. And it's probably baby mama. I ain't looking for a servant, need a boss. Type when I need it, all I do is call. It's a full bag, he just buy it all. And the money ain't the only thing the nigga got long, goddamn. So if you give a coin or you bluff it, cause I ain't trying to talk to you for nothing. Just in case you couldn't get the hit, no, you can't get no pussy. I play a bitch right. Niggas always talk about the money And the niggas always saying that they love me Oh, you love me? Shit, come pay a bitch rent, rent Welcome to I Want Lushy TV, where you can be sure to know the real kids and her sexual style. So get your pins and papers and take notes because we yeah. are going to light you up with tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Now, here in order to show, we want to talk about what? Sex. We want to talk about what? Sex. We want to talk about what? Sex. We want to talk about sex. Motherfucking sex. 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 And only sex. Fucking sex. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I'm your host, X. Adult star, exotic rapper, business owner, exotic dancer, exotic uh 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 rap artist. Cause I had to I had to put that in. I mean, I'm all kinds of goddamn things. I mean, I don't know I'm a jack of all trades. I'm like uh a Mexican one day, I'm a jack. What is it? Jamaican next day. I'm X Y and Z the next day. So I'm just telling you, I got a jack all trades. I am luscious kisses. I thought that shit. That was intro like a motherfucker. That was a good one. Right. I am current model, got back in the game. Uh, manager Great. of Baltimore City's Club Seduction, 6820 Eastern Avenue. Event planner, went to gala and hotel takeover December 12th. Holler at me for tickets. Entry. Uh, I, what else? I do, I do so much shit. Tickets. I'm known to be all tickets. types of shit over the city. Sex Bring symbol, known guy. I've been event planner since I was 17 years old, man. Live God, Ricky gave me. Check my only fans. Hey, we gonna oh. get a, a, a good old little intro for him because this intro is like, bleh. Oh, I mean, she, I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to get where you at. I mean, I ain't rap. I should have. But you're a, sex, you're a sex symbol just like me, so your intro have to be like, boom. I'm working. Boom. Hey, hey, boom. Hey. I'm hey. I'm boom. Hey. I'm gonna be good. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. Right, we in. It was cool. I'm gonna learn how to spice up my intro. Spice that shit up. There we go. Okay, so of course we've been gone a couple uh, um for a couple of weeks because I did some vacation. I need some me time to myself, no shade. And you know, of course we had some other little personal things. We and you're starting on. a business, you're starting a new venture. I am starting a new business. Starting a new business, so you know, like that. And then of course we are in our third stage of this whole COVID mess. I mean, third phase. It's a third place for me because stage, third, it, whatever. it's a third just stage like, for me is because my job been two. closed down again for the third, third the third time. Nine, so we talking about four to six weeks and I mean not go and get this money. It's the holiday season. So I'm like, um what's going on here? Similar check. Similar check. But they ain't they they Biden, might not got things. Trump checks. Congress, similar check. It's just open the fuck make up. We know the numbers is gonna write us with your mask and we be good. Hurry. Oh, yeah, I didn't sanitize. <laughs> Did you not that's, hear what he just said? That's what I can do. Listen, my producer still got his whole mask on. Mask, yeah, he mask. the one from a mask. mask so he went from a skull right now. into a mask. I wear my mask. He's like, fuck that. Y'all and the fan of privacy of my own <laughs> shit, right? I wear my mask whole rest of the show. <laughs> my club has a restaurant. We open until 11 p.m. 
I can't say the same for her spot. We should so, be right shit closed down. I've been telling this guy that I, can't can't say this. Old, so I, I don't, don't understand the rules. I don't see why y'all not. It's he Toronto. Be, I had COVID. He don't understand what's what you don't understand. He got better. He kept shaking that ass. There you go. Well, I got diabetes. It's a difference. I, I had to fight for that shit. Like, he was not. He got not stronger. Crazy. And the ass got even more clappier. I'm, I'm, and the I'm, money I'm, got even more heavy. I just do his ass. I mean, you were clappier. Check it out. In the early clappier. Picture. It, it, this sounds like real fake. <laughs> clappier. I'm trying to spice up my vocabulary. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. So this whole. Subject tonight is about spicing up your whole spice, sex life. So everything that he says, he's spicing up everything. You spice up what? What you spice, doing? Spicing that shit. What you put in that spice pot? We got some garlic powder in the fridge. We got some lemon pepper. Eight. I got some jerk seasoning. Eight. I got some hot sauce. Leave me hot sauce. You always need hot sauce. First of all, you cannot leave Obey season out. That was the next one. Why do you want to do that? Some Obey. Obey. Some pepper. And I don't know what's gonna taste like. Cause I ain't never mix all that shit. I don't know, time. Even, but you know, black people like salt too. And I don't even eat salt, but black people like salt too. What? So. I threw all that shit in there because you can throw all type of shit and just spicing up your sex life. Yeah. Pretty right. Yeah. You could throw some lemon pepper, not in the bedroom. I mean, we. I don't we agree could throw with some lemon cream. pepper and yeah. I might throw some whipped cream. I'm a, and some I'm, a, I'm a fruit and sweets kind of guy in the bedroom. But we'll talk about that during the show. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all already know what God us us is because like it's been a minute for us. We yeah, gotta reintroduce him. Oh, we listen, listen, listen. I, I feel like we gotta reintroduce him. Are you want me? You want me to introduce myself again? I just said I'm an extra, but that's a dope star. He's out of grandpa. I am currently still an entertainer of whatever the fuck I am doing. I was talking I about am like, them said, how, I was talking reducing. about reintroducing them. To how freaky you about to get in this show. Oh, you about to. That's what well, I we did do a toast. All right. Toast to restart and reintroducing these people. And just living. And just, <laughs> just living life, right? Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you must be ready for the topic for the next. I ain't playing. What are you playing? I ain't playing. What up? I be playing. You play. I ain't playing tonight. All right. So to, tonight's sex topic, we are definitely talking about spicing up your sex life, right? So being honest is a must in your relationship. That's a fucking must. You hear? Being honest. I'm going to say it again one more time, okay? Being honest in, ooh, I mean, being honest is a must in a relationship. And it goes beyond communication Even with each other. Right. I mean, what relationship, any situation, ship, any or ship. anything that, that's involved in a ship, it's just being real. Yeah. All right? Being real, okay? Communication. With each other, it's a must. Okay, you shouldn't have to tell lies or fake every orgasm, hiding your desire, or not telling your partner what you really love I about story sex. For that. <laughs> I got a story for that shit. Yo. Okay, so that's what I was saying. So, um, okay, all uh, that. Or not telling your partner what you really love about sex, you can really affect your intimacy, which is true. That's why it's so important to talk and ask questions to make your sex life better. Yep, I, I fully agree. Thank you. So we're gonna start with tonight's question is okay because I'm ready. Listen, right, let, but hold up, I got I gotta explain this real quick before we get started because we have a male, we have a female on the show, so. We want to say what's the difference between spicing up the relationship when it comes to a male and a female, right or wrong? It's definitely differences because women like shit, men like shit. Some women might not like what the man like, or some shit. Some women might not like what the man like, and some men not might not like. Right. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Right. Yeah. Okay, so we gonna start with number one question: How do you spice up a born ass sex life? Well, first of all, goddamn, what's born? Now, me, it's a lot. Man. A born? Do you born want me to no, 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 no. Before you even, listen, before you even get started, I'm going to say what's born. He said what's born. What a born? bitch that's an honor boy. You know what an honor boy is? A stiff bitch who doesn't even stiff. fuck back, who doesn't even turn you on mentally, physically, emotionally, or sexually in the bed. All right. Okay, I got you. You want to keep going? So, regular sex is hey, we watching Netflix, I roll over, and. I lick my finger and put my dick in. <laughs> you can still watch Netflix and still get one. It's, I mean, it's but that's all the no, I'm just. I, I mean, I understand. No I understand. 
understand that. No I understand no that. But no, it's no all intimacy. about it's all about the woman too. You feel mentally, physically, and emotionally. Everybody don't just want to just wet wet the pussy with your fingers and well, stick your dick in. You know nobody get ready to wet no pussy. Who the fuck and still does that? The born people still do that. I, you want me to? You want to? Mom, a born person right not, there, I'm a born person not rolling over born. something on your neck, something on your titties, kissing on your. Thighs, but that's that's when the foreplay comes in, right? And that's what born sex is. It. You get what I'm saying? They not doing that. Born sex is exactly what it sounds like. Phony ass, stiff ass, born ass. When is he gonna be done? When is she gonna be done? A pussy tries hell sex. <clears throat> that's boring sex. And that's some bullshit because it's boring. Oh shit. Exactly. Shady. There you go. That's boring. So I said being honest is a must in a relationship, and it goes beyond communication with each other. I told you communication plays a lot in a relationship. It's the biggest part. Period. It doesn't matter if it's like all about sex, but communication is, is about everything. You gotta have communication because if you don't have it, you don't have nothing. Am I am I correct? Okay. So I said, so I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. Okay, okay. I was saying communicate with each other. You shouldn't have to tell lies or fake an orgasm, hiding your desires or not. Telling your partner what you really love about sex. Can really affect your intimacy, right? You ain't got a lot of kids. You ain't got. You learn. But that's why it's important to talk and ask questions to make your sex life better. Is it blow the move? I don't even want to fuck you. I don't even want to have That's just, I'm just saying, like, for instance, okay, so I'm just going to say, um, um, we answer, he may go and suck my titties. Mm. Not going to say suck my titties. Um, because I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, kiss my earlobes. I may not like this. It may not turn me on. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to keep allowing you to keep on doing, doing something that it doesn't, I don't like. Mm-hmm. And I'm bored with like, I don't like this. It's not turning me on. Like, you got to find another spot to go touch. You want those people's favorite words? What? I'm with whatever. I'm down for whatever. I'm no. With this, or, but or you had this communications before. I'm with the shits. With but you had these talks. I'm just saying, you had these talks before you had sex. Shits. You're not with the shits. If I'm cracking you and my man's walking and you don't stop, you with the shit. If you stop and ball up under the covers, you not with the shit. I mean, some, females, not with the some shit. females may not want if a other nigga, niggas to see what you a, got going on. If a on. nigga get a bitch and she call another nigga over there, because you said you with the shit, you with all that, and a nigga come over there and you nervous now because he about to wear her out too, and you probably intimidated or you just feel nervous, you not with the shit. I mean, I understand that. Too. No, you're not with the shits. So don't lie about being with the shits, and you know. I'm just saying, I understand that too. But I'm just saying, saying like, I, back to what I just was saying, it's like, who the fuck? When I see like somebody do something to them and they're not they comfortable like with it, they don't like it, so I turn them on. And you have to fun. communicate with it because it's like, now the pussy's about to be dry as a cotton ball because you're doing things that I don't like go you left. to do. That was He's going to go left because you act awkward. Because you're like, um, and you act like on the board. <laughs> stiff. Press. You're on the board. She's stiff. Start, she's score, stiff. Start <laughs> Listen, you stiff. Ain't no water, no steaming. And so I'm get that pussy going because she's stiff. Right. She's like, nothing that's going on. And you know what? It's not even about even if she like because some female are naturally just born right. in the bedroom. I'm going to do something different, Luscious. You usually ask me the questions. I okay. got a question for you. I what is a good want. way for a woman to address the male with what she likes? In a way, it should, imagine a female and she don't really, she's not really talking to him. She's right. shy. Give her pointers on how to explain to a man what she likes being done to her sexually. Well, I, I do have that coming at the end of the show, not towards okay. the end of the show. So after you know, a little question seminars going on. I do. I'm 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 gonna always say my point mm-hmm. and my tip mm-hmm. and my facts on or how sex life is supposed to be. Right. Regardless if a female male like it or not, I'm just telling you what, what works for me. Right. It may probably work for other females. I did my research on, on certain things. I'm just sitting and saying if a female don't like what's going on for men physically, emotionally, mentally, and sexually, she needs to open Stop up her mouth and say something. Stop because I'm not about to give her sex with, a, with somebody and it's boring. Mm-hmm. My coochie's not turned on. My coochie's not wet. A lot of women just let it happen though. But they need to stop that. 
do I mean, you, but you can't. I agree with that. I'm tired you of hearing. You can't just do it because you want to do it to try to make it, make him make him get off or of whatever the case the fuck is. As a this man, is, I'm tired of hearing it just happened or I was like, fuck it. Like, well, why would you do it? Now I'm, I'm just like, fuck it. Men don't like hearing that, women. Stop saying that to women. Stop men, saying men, I don't. Men just be stop fucking saying, bitches to be fucking bitches. Stop like, saying next thing I know. don't even be fucking coming. Next thing you know. Big fake. He was like, okay, I'm a fucker because it's like, okay, I'm just seeing the it's pussy. It's like, and then when you get the pussy, I'm like, damn, this shit's gone. But she's like, okay, what do I do? Act like I can't. It's like a bitch act like she moans. I spit on a bitch, bitch back. And the bitch act before. like she fucking like. You heard me down. I spit on a bitch back before. You spit on a bitch back too? Uh, 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 let me get the bitch to spit on back. Let me see what she gonna do. She can't see it. Now, she can do it? No, she gonna wipe it off. It's gonna feel like whatever. But you still don't. Um, you can tell when a female is into it, you can tell by her, her vagina yeah, action, like, her yeah, body's yeah. action, her right emotion is everything is in action, it's inside I've when it comes to it. I've been on a bitch back, back, and I've also stopped saying, Shorty, this ain't even about A bitch be dry. You know, a bitch be dry. I put my yeah. shit on the left. Yeah. A bitch be dry. A girl be like, did you come? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, right there, yeah. Get the fuck out I'm talking about straight up. This ain't gonna work. I'm gone. But, but it's crazy though, because I had talked to guys, no shit, because I had to stop it before. So I had talked to guys because I like to get men. Like I, I told y'all guys because I've been doing this for six six years. So I've been talking to guys when it comes to like him as a pussy with top. I just want to know their opinion mm-hmm. or how they feel about stuff like that. And they told me like, you know, I had some, I fake some, you know. And also, if he wasn't when they fake some orgasms and stuff like that, I'm like, how? And how? You should be able to turn each other on, mix it with emotion. And, like we can get each other off. Like what are you doing? A lot of people make a lot of wrong decisions when it comes to having sex. They might be like, oh, he tall. You know, oh, he, he had probably had some, good luck with Oh, he got family. money. Oh, oh he got this money. pussy wet, pussy dry. So but with, does a nigga, it. with a man, it's different with a man because, you know, at, at some point in your life, you just happy to, to get your dick wet. You know what I'm saying? And, and I had to realize as I got older, it got to be very disappointing as a woman to give that pussy up to a nigga and that shit be fine. He could always say he cracked. Right. He could always say he cracked. He don't care if you stopped him. He don't care if you said it's dick little. He don't care if you said it was trash. Diamond, at the end of the day, what did you do? Crap. I'll crap. crap. It's different with no women. Shame. And that's where the double standard comes in. You get what I'm saying? Because now, if a woman say that too often, what is she? She a hoe. She a dummy. Oh, she easy. A freak. A slut. She a freak. You not letting her do what she want to do. She was out here giving the pussy up. Because yeah, sometimes, what her to but do. sometimes men mentally or physically, emotionally, whatever, sexually, they don't turn a woman on. Right. So you just want to stick your dick in there. How you gonna stick your dick in there? You don't get the piss. But, but, but that makes her be a freak. Because it's you, like, is you gonna go home and take your hour and go to sleep, or is you gonna call? But you gotta home? understand this. You gotta understand this. <laughs> is you gonna Listen, call somebody else, or you gonna go home and go to sleep? I mean, I understand it, but your he. As a man mm. is supposed to get her horny so her pussy can fucking get wet. Now, you don't want to fuck a bitch. The pussy is dry, sir. That's it. Who the fuck want to try? In your opinion, who the want fuck that? In your opinion, what percentage of men care about what the woman is going through? Nine. His Nine. Because he cares Very about himself. Percentage. Because he cares about Very himself and he cares about a female. We know that. And we talked about it how many times? On 10 times on the show. A man does not give a fuck. About a female when it comes a to him man. getting off. It's a slice of that man. pie that care. They they wanna watch a okay. slice. Okay. I'm a one of them niggas. Slice. I'm one of them niggas. Because I have a slight ego problem. If I do anything, I want to be one of the best to ever fucking do it. You get what I'm saying? You I'm not gonna you, sign you, up for I'm nothing. Gonna, first of all, why would you want if I'm cracking, even a female I to put that, that shit out about you that you giving fucking fuck them sex or dry sex? Oh, you not even if turning I crack, I want you to remember I crack. That's just me. I, I'm sucking titties. I'm flipping your But that's where the full I'm play comes you in. I'm you have to like, oh, we doing it. I'm ready to belt. This is oh, what I'm that. saying. This is where the full play comes in, okay? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the fucking day, right. you had to turn a woman on mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So when you turn all these things on, her pussy start yeah. working and start moving. It's like this, like a robot, like an end, like she's start going like this. You don't want a bitch that's like that stiff. Who the fuck want to fuck a bitch like that if you're not doing what you're supposed to be? A lot of guys don't care. They say, I know oh. that. I know that. But my, that's the problem. But I see that. I tell you, my that's job is to see they try to tell you guys how to fuck a turn a female. And that's boy. why we're here today. To Irk. teach these motherfuckers how to spice up this. Irk. 
It's, it's touching a woman. You can touch a woman physically. You can touch it in different spots of her body and what turn a woman on. A woman can My mind so, But wait a minute. Hold up. Let me just say this. Because you can touch a woman in certain many kinds of ways of her fucking body to wow. make her turn on. You can lick her. You can touch her. You can taste her. You ain't even gotta eat a pussy. It's how you fucking touch her that you. you make a woman be turned on. So if you're not doing these things and a bitch is being dry, like the fuck is you doing? What are you doing? You gotta turn it on. You want a bitch to get some dry ass pussy? A bitch will get some dry ass pussy whatever because she think, oh, I'm just gonna fucking niggas. She don't know no better because she's dumb and she don't understand how to work a pussy. She don't know how to use her pussy. Do you understand? Or her voice. Or her voice. All that. So she don't know how to use these things to say what she wants. To make a feel better. She said, oh, I'm just going to get this pussy. Oh, because I'm going to try to eat this nigga. Or I'm going to try to get this nigga pregnant or wipe this nigga off. These motherfuckers is dumb as fuck. There are a lot of people. And does not realize. Men and women that are very unhappy with their sex life. They are very unhappy with their sex life. some people, and I've spoken to a lot of people, they've said, how do they approach it? How do they say blah, blah, blah without hurting them? How do they say this without making them not want to do it no more? How do they say this without making them think that they was already cheating or messing right, around? So let's get back to the next step. Let's get back to the topic. Gotcha. Okay, so question. How do you spice up a born sex, sex life as a man, as a man. to you? A real don't person. don't say about no female. Because mm. I'm going to give my female aspect. opinion. Okay. Please give the men. How do you spice up a sex life? How do you uh, uh, how do you spice up a porn sex life? I got two pointers. One is my personal experience. I when I have sex, I like to see how far I can go before Shorty say stop. You get what I'm saying? I want to see if she like kissing. I'm gonna kiss her. I want to see if she like. But every female sex. don't like kissing. That's, well, every male and, don't and like that's, kissing. And that's why I'm going. I'm gonna see what she don't like. That's how you do it. Because some people don't know how to communicate it. If I say certain things, she might get offended because she might not do nothing I just said. Right. But on the, if you hear it verbally, you might not like it. But if it's done to you, you don't even know you like it because it never happened before. So I'm a I'm a squeeze her butt cheeks and wiggle her butt her butt hole my thumb while I'm kissing her. That her means mouth. you gotta do different things. Exactly. To see if it's gonna turn her on. I'm gonna twist her nipple Literally. a little bit. I'm gonna choke her a little harder and harder just to see until she tells me to stop. Next thing yes. I know, I got. I might smack her face, Ma, grab her neck. You got some women that's like that. And they love it. So I'm going to do everything that I want to do mentally that I like until she lets me know her limit. That's one way. The second way is, okay, whether you hit on Facebook, whether you saw it in the mall, whether y'all talking on the phone, eventually that conversation will go to sex. Throw oh, something out there. That. Throw something out there. She might say something. Yeah, I mean, I had a couple of little wild nights in college. If you like getting tied up, or if you like tying girls up, say some dumb shit like, oh, somebody probably tied your ass up before. Boom! Oh, no, that never happened, but I thought about it. Bam! Now you got a love connection. You're going to talk about how you did it before and how you can help out, train her, do this, do that. Or, oh, you probably did this wild shit like got it in your butt. Oh, how'd you know? Oh, we in there. Now you in it. That's what you got to do, fellas. You got to slow stroke the conversation. You can't rush into everything. You can't just jump up there. Go slow. Oh, damn, I like kissing. Let me see if I can kiss this bitch. Oh, she let me kiss her. Let me see if she let me smack her. Oh, she let me smack her. Let me see if she let me long stroke. Some women don't like it deep. You get what I'm saying? Some women don't like certain. Yeah, I mean, it's different shows for different folks. See, I mean, you do you really got some naturally like, born ass women that's Next out thing you there. know, you tied to a pinwheel getting whippings with baby oil on your butt. It's a lot of women that like a lot of different shit. It is. Yes, ma'am. All right, so. I'm just gonna give my um six ways to spice up your sex life towards like being in a show. So make sure you all stick to that question because I'm gonna say that question a little bit again. Okay, so, so just keep that. Um I mean you have have you ever had a born sex life? I know I have. I have. I was I was just bored. I was I didn't stories, like nothing right? about it. I was bored. I'm gonna give two stories. I'm not saying no name. One I mean either my name, I'm not. That I mean, you always know I'm famous. <laughs> you tried it. I'm going to come short, I am y'all. not. But two stories, nice. two stories of born sex I had. This girl was so pretty. I was in college. She's, she was fucking gorgeous. To me. I don't know what the fuck it was. A quick story, Ricky. You get like long ass stories. I said I'm going to cut it short. 
Long story short, I went at her so hard, finally got her. <laughs> we in my room, the lights dim, I'm rubbing on her, I'm with all this, right? We get to going, ironing board. She was phony as oh, shit. But that's how it be. That's how it be. I, she, she, she didn't. She said she don't suck dick, so that made me go half lip anyway. I had to get it back. What well, female don't suck dick? <laughs> Once I finally got it back going. Well, I mean, why would you want to fuck a female who said who don't suck dick? Listen, I'll get I mean, if I'm a nigga and I know I like my dick stuff, and they all definitely out there. I've met a I'm lot of honestly females. Ready to go. But I met a lot of females that who don't, they don't like sucking dick. I'm uh, not. Not only did she not it, suck my dick, dick, but she said my head is foam. <laughs> I said what? She said I don't know how to do it. I said oh my god! But I was so turned on by by her period. And I was still with it, but I was a little limpy. But I got back right. Long story short, I, I get back limpy. Yo. limpy. <laughs> flat yeah, flat yeah. Flat. I wasn't flat, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but when you yeah, like yeah. this, yeah. and you got yeah. high yeah. yeah. she telling you I don't do something. Yeah. It's like whoa, yeah. what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So now you gotta get them back up. <laughs> so I'm back up. I get it. So turned on. She said she don't suck dick. Cause I like her the right way she looks. She's so fucking pretty, ass fat and thick. I get it. I'm gonna suck my man dick. I'm sucking my man dick. I get in that. Man, bitch gonna suck my man dick. I'm gonna suck his dick. I get in that motherfucker. Okay, it was hard. Pussy was dry. She kept stopping, like hold up. I'm like, yo. So I didn't even hit the fake nothing, nothing. I just stopped. And I just put my clothes on. We sat <laughs> into the bed. <laughs> we sat into the bed. And like five minutes later, we was talking, and I ended up walking into walking into a car. So I was like, "All right, maybe she was nervous. You know, she had something to do." So caught her on the second time. She, she, the same she, word. she gave me the phoniest head ever. I said, "Damn, this this ain't gonna work." <laughs> so I said, "All right, maybe the guts got better." So I tried to give it a whop. She don't like head. You, the WAP is the WAP is. You know what the WAP is? Nobody asked for it. WOP is WAP. That means he. Uh, WAP is WAP, which is pussy. Uh, so I'm getting. Uh, I'm trying. I'm. 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 Damn. Now I, I don't even want I don't, I've met one girl that was like I don't want it. <laughs> it was funny, y'all. I just said, you know what? We cool with you damn <laughs> But look, she said what she was into, but she wasn't into the basic shit. Damn. And that's what the turn off was? The, yeah, that was basic. Give it why this regular shit. I'm down there trying to suck I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't like and I might like, flip you on the 69 tip if you sit there and be like, oh, but see, sometimes if you like turn that, off. If my head game, game, if my head game was good, you would still fuck with it. If something was good, <laughs> <laughs> nothing was good about it. The whole time we were talking about good. it, the only thing that was good is she looked good. That don't mean nothing. That can only do it so far. Yeah. That shit don't do nothing for a nigga. It's a lust thing. Yeah. When you lust off of somebody and it's you get it, it's all. That's why a lot of people are one and done. Because it wasn't what you wanted. I had a lot of people left over me. I understand. Damn, she only said, what is phony here? Y'all think anything about Are we going to talk about that after the show? But a girl girl of people might not think of that attractiveness with good sex is still good. Bite. Yeah. Yeah. A a seven with good sex is a 10 to a nigga. Yeah. A 10 with phony sex, you a basic. (laughs) <laughs> well, can I get my opinion yes, about yes, what is born yes, sex? Yes. I think I can get my opinion. So my opinion is born sex is with an on the board ass nigga. <laughs> a what? On a, get on top of ass nigga. You just there. I mean, she like I'm a I ain't doing nothing. I uh, I'm a fake. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Fake, mm, man. Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. Oh, daddy, yes, I'm lying. Does that mean oh, you. that's because you know what the same nigga nigga is? Y'all say be real because nobody got time for that. Okay, so the you in all situations is the guy supposed uh, to initiate all, all that? Okay. No, because I'm you, know, you say so. The guys, the guys expected to go in, flip you all the position. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no. I never said that. I don't have a problem initiating anything because at the end of the day, if I'm meeting somebody whose sex standards is my standards, yeah. then we're good. There's no need for us, like, who's going to initiate whatever because we're going to take, take your turn, your yeah. turn, your turn, <laughs> whose turn, yeah. my turn, his turn, oh, her yeah. turn. Yeah. Listen, who we'll give a fuck who turn it is it's because be at the end of the day, we, no we, we there. It's, it's, there's no nothing when you got good. Chemistry when it comes to sex. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 I don't have that issue. Okay. I don't have that issue. That's a crazy If you're trapped in a situation, ship, but if both of these entanglement, shy, if, if, if the girls or sex is shy, shy, the guy shy, then they may have some problems. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing all that. What you, why you fucking me? Because I'm holding it for. We anybody can we do all that. I'm all beast in this company's bedroom. I ain't fucking no shy ass nigga. And you ain't talking no <laughs> dumb ass shit. I don't like shy. We gonna get this shit going and we gonna fuck and we keep it on moving. I don't like right shy. Here. I don't want no shy shit nothing. Okay, we gonna fuck. It's what we do. We fucking. We're like, fucking. We're fucking. And that's what it is when it's coming into me. I don't want to shy. I'm gonna get the board. Like, one of the I'm like a board. What if one of the listeners is shy? Open up. I'm, I'm listen. I'm not saying I never had a boring sex. I had some boring sex people in my life, and I hate it so bad. All right, here go a tip for the shop. Okay. No, really? This is the thing about shy people. I wonder why a lot of people are shy sexually. This is my opinion. Why a lot of people are shy sexually. Okay. Because they like some motherfucking freaky ass shit. But listen, I had people oh, that was busy. Like no, you know what you and that is true, right? Yeah. So but I had motherfuckers like past play shit. Oh, you was a porn star, so I'm scared to have sex with you because, yeah, oh, I'm zippy, I'm a timid nigga, so I mean, you like the long kind of sex. And I'm like, like I'm sitting there saying, like, well, listen, even with females, like, why you got these big ass dildos? Like, I'm a, I don't want the big ass dildos. Oh, just what you like in porn. I said, listen, that's my job. I'm a regular like female. I swear to be regular like things. Either, so. Let's just do things that's going to slate both of us and not just be exaggerated or some shit. Or a nigga be like, oh my god, like, you well, know, I'm a kind of five men. And I said, why y'all think that? Because I'm a fool, son. Well, they don't know. They don't know, you know. Some because y'all don't ask. So when you, when you, when you, when you, when you out on a date with somebody, you talk to somebody, ask these questions. Or not to ask these questions, because I'm, I might get offended sometimes. You know, like, if some people ask me certain things, but at the end of the day, I'm not a bad person. Like, don't expect this X, Y, and Z because you think I was an ex porn star or oh, blah, 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 blah. And I remember the girls used to come in these big ass dudes. What the fuck is she about to get rid of you with that? <laughs> what are you doing with that? You got the wrong idea. I just think I like. You got the wrong idea. It's a difference. You're trying to be my girlfriend. This is work. work. I'm going to do what I got to do. It's work because I'm on camera. I got to. You know, I don't like to share work, but guess what? This one pays the bills. The shy people. Okay. And I'm getting paid two thousand some dollars to do one thing. So. And then they like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? For instance, I got a homegirl. She like getting banked. For those that know a bank man, I mean two or more individuals. Absolutely. Or one, or one woman. She like getting banked. So when I first met her, she was so shy. She pulled me in a room by myself, was talking to me. You know how it is at the, a blunt or some drinks, you start getting talking to. Me. And she was just telling me how handsome I was and how much she wanted me and all this and all that, right? So she warmed up to me. <laughs> she was. <laughs> <laughs> so as time went by, she just felt really comfortable with me and started telling me her desires and shit like that. So next thing I know, I'm choking her with the belt. I'm spanking her. I'm tying her up to the bed. So she hit me one day and was like, "Yo, don't you skip a lot of shit." Yeah, I was getting. She did. You scared? But but wait, she said. She said something about that shit on the other topic. Just to kick it off. She said, yeah, cause we went out one time. It was me, it was a whole crowd of people, my homeboys. Oh, I ain't gonna say the I like your homeboy such and such. I'm like, oh, like, yeah, I think he's cute. Quickly. Okay. We back. And she loved it. And she would call me and be like, can I do it again? Do you have another? Uh, I like that other guy. Because you She liked it. it. But she was, no one else knew that except me. She felt comfortable with me doing it. You feel what I'm saying? It's funny. It was crazy. But you, you gotta ask questions, you gotta talk, you gotta see what type of person you do with. That's why they have swingers and open relationships. Like you have spices, so I'm drinking dark or light. What the fuck was we drinking? Light. 
I am I I am drinking um some. You talking about when I, when we was getting uh warm, when she was getting warmed up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking dark shit. I've been drinking that tonight. He's talking about when she was warming up to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we can go with the next. Hey, <laughs> my <laughs> right. Okay. So, what's your favorite position? So this favorite position we had to give us all. You definitely gonna have a whole subject about this, but we just want to say what we like. I have two. I used to love hitting it from the back. I still do. That's my third one. Okay. I love missionary like a motherfucker. I like missionary too. Girl, I like missionary is my so favorite much position. In missionary. Now. You can choke. Yeah. You can hit it with the quick smack. Throw your legs in different position. Hit the up. You can rub your pelvis. Throw your You can go yeah. deep. You can long stroke. Yeah. You can hold the back of her you head. You can do so much. You can do so much shit. You can make love and you can make love. You can make love. You can you can bang out, you can fuck her. It's like different things you can do in mission. Mission is my favorite percent. Hey, you know what I like about it? It's a very intimate thing. And you can look in the show. I know women that don't want me to or never don't say they don't fuck missionaries for that very reason. Yeah, because 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 that should make you fall in love. You wonder what I love now? You fall in love. What I love now? Picking her the fuck up. I love it. I feel like fucking King Kong. I'm strong as shit. You know what I'm saying? Throwing it up in there and it fucks the head up because you know women be thick as shit nowadays. They not used to niggas picking them up. Niggas be five seven one forty five. They're not picking up no five nine one eight. Oh, that's not even true. I had a whole situation of man for a minute. I'm sorry, boy. I'm talking about nothing with that. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Little niggas can't do it, but it don't happen often. So when you are able to overpower and pick her up, oh man, especially dick in up. No, I'm just that bitch in up. Picking them up. Look at me, dude. Yeah. 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 But you're strong as shit. I thought you were my boot. And I know you his fucking picking up. Can't pick him up. Can't pick him up with the one arm too like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, you ain't too old. Okay, you ain't like, hey, it is what it is. So those are my three, but, but missionary. But you got some little, you know. Yeah, pick up. Missionary is my favorite. Missionary number one. Missionary is number one for me too because it's so intimate and it's like you get to look at a bitch eyes and you get every bitch you can't look at eyes you can fuck a bitch missionary and you ain't you ain't feeling what you're saying but you eyes. know when you are feeling that person you fucking missionary you like, missionary Damn, on this bitch right here that's, that's a guaranteed shit. bus that's a whole novel it's a whole bus right there you bust it. The new fucking 2020 fucking missionary is the fucking best. New missionary. I mean, you got to suck some neck, suck some titties, <laughs> smack her a little bit. They spit their mouths now with the drool, drool, dribble. All that. That's all that's that 2020 shit. <laughs> all right, so does having sex in public place turn you on, or have you ever tried it? <laughs> yes, I like putting on a show for people. I like public sex. Whether I'm doing it publicly on purpose or on some sneak shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's the best time though. Like, if you like, if you ain't with some sneaky kids kind of sex and you like out in public, they don't even know what's going on. That shit turn you on mentally, physically, and emotional. That shit be like, yeah, like no shade. I'm sorry, boo, but <laughs> it's some good sex in that car though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. It was yesterday and it was like, I was all turned on. I was like, mm, where my aunt? His brother shit ate. Hey. Who just started talking? I was like, hey, hey, you're talking, hey, 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 all right, okay, I'm gonna get this car. Dang, we ain't fucking your car, yeah, wait, we fucked the mine, we ain't fucking yours. Fuck all right, car. got in that motherfucker car, took these motherfucking clothes up, broke the shit. I got a couple bros all on my knees, my knees hurt real bad right now. I'm serious, motherfuckers, because he's he taller than me, and I'm 6'4. <laughs> I don't know how y'all get it. <laughs> I don't know how y'all get it. And I have five fours, five fours. <laughs> I had car sex for the first time in eight years. And these are three months, got ago. three months ago. <laughs> right in the back. <laughs> what of the you mean? Seat. You see me rubbing them, right? <laughs> Frank, right give a fuck. I was drunk. Video. You move to the seats up in that motherfucker. Mm. I mean, I'm like this. And he got old school. So I didn't give a fuck. The clothes is all. Let me drop up. Let me drop them. I got up on them. Knees is all over the place. I fucking rolled that bitch. You motherfucking gum. You, you got go. some motherfucking knees. You got a couple birds in here. But we was in the middle of a restaurant parking lot. It's on you all right? Uh, yeah. People's walking past all that. We went we, okay. we, we tried to go in a dark spot, but we said fuck it. People's walking past. Oh, we was right here in front of the door. Oh, y'all went home. Yeah, we it tried. We, we tried to hide. It ain't work. I said, if you know what, fuck it. We right here. <laughs> <People's>, yeah. 
they like Danny Fox. Because y'all doing something different. Like even you doing different sex and y'all having sex <laughs> different in different, different places. <laughs> it's different. So she's up. talking about you in the like hall, y'all doing sex. different sex. Everything is different. Everything is different. Like you don't give a fuck who's walking past. Different sex. I didn't give a fuck who was walking past. I got that big deal with that you. I got a couple girls on my fucking boat. And then when you get out, and guess what? I was good. And then when you get out, it's like when you were smoking weed in high school. You nervous and shit. Like oh, everybody looking. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody saw him doing that shit. Oh hell yeah! I did yeah. not at all. It was like, what yeah. it was. I was horny the moment. I was the fuck in this car. Fixing your pants. And I, guess what? Fixing your hair and shit. Fixing what? I ain't had no clothes. I left the clothes off. I had my little blanket still in the car. <laughs> I read that bitch from it from my red bottles on my feet. And I was stepping up the motherfucker. So I was like, hey, I did my shit in the motherfucker. No, I was good. So I ain't put no clothes back on. I don't want no clothes back on nothing. It's like, hey. I'm on, I'm on just about any hotel sex, like 12, 20th floor shit. That's some different shit. Yeah. Butt ass nigga. Where you going? Butt ass nigga. I had the balcony where? I'm going to Vegas next month. Oh, oh we did Vegas. No, you go do it on the balcony in Vegas? Hot to the balcony. Rooftop. Rooftop in my party. Except for 12, hell. Um, all that. See, he ain't coming up with shit. There you all go. Oh my I'm God. Just rooftop yeah. everything. You know how you smoke everywhere? If it's rooftop, I'm cracking. Don't bring me upstairs. Fuck. Here we go. I don't know when the phone will make the worst. So at the end of the day, I want to go. Oh, you got a lot of free time. To crack. I want to party. Right yeah, now. I got a lot of free time. To crack. No, I'm not parties, I travel parties. Like, travel I just want to like. <laughs> All right, so, so we did the public place thing. I like the public. I like doing it outside. I, like it. I think it's different. I mean, I mean, you who, who wants to keep having a certain sexual That's how you can bring thing out in the bed? You guys do something people. different. For the shy people. Start off, start off in the car. Don't just crack the middle of Walmart. Start off in the car and shit. Do a little shit like that. First. Do some shit different inside the car. Yeah. Right. You be driving, suck his dick or whatever a little bit. You gotta turn him on, swerving. and then you know he's swerving. It's okay, right? Y'all bit. pull off to the side, the and job. he still suck his dick, and he like fucking. You should be already wet, but just a little hand and sit on top of it. Do what you got to do. With the hands on and the, and the shoulder, man. No hands are lights. Turn the shit off. Yeah. You don't want to put the hands lights to bring your attention. Mm-hmm. And the police might put like, uh. <laughs> So yeah, you, you decide to jump up out here. Fuck, we don't need that, so we're not gonna do nothing. Your tenant, your windows are already tenant. Y'all already all day fucking. Y'all don't need none of that extra shit. Don't even fuck no. Don't put those in the <laughs> Now put the hands and lights on. No, no hands, no shade, sister, bro. No hands and lights. Oh, I gave Just, advice. I gave why would you put hands and lights on? Yeah, yeah. You, put, you on the side, listen, you on the side of where you put some hands and lights on. Y'all out there fucking and sucking. And the police fall up. Then what? Y'all won't even go to jail again tickets. Because y'all fucking outside. He or she probably a freak too. No, no, no. You don't get that. I made out. Yeah. Right now? What's going on? This is years ago though. Yeah, all right. Like 20. We listen. We ain't about listen. We ain't ready to do all that. Do not listen to him. He said, "You little horny bitch." Don't turn them bitches on at all. And you fucking that car. Every case, you little. And horny that's bitch. it. But like, you need some wipes in the car just to wipe yourself off. Oh yeah, You need some wipes. Wet some and dry wipes. wipes. Look at wet ones. You want to wipe? Dry wipe. Cause everybody don't want their little thing wet. What you mean? You know, what the fuck you all, mean? Up with the dry. After you finish fucking, he pours it out. He takes the car off, whatever the case. However, your relationship status is, you just take your wipe and just wipe off until you get home. Like, what, why are you in the wet and dry wipe? And I got some pants and a must. All right, so. Alcohol on your dick, peroxide on your dick. <laughs> Real shit, though. Do you have fantasies you want to try? That is one of the most important things about communication. With who you are having sex with. Thank you. If you have fantasies, let it be known. Because if you deal with somebody, right? Say y'all start off just cracking, y'all become closer friends, y'all start dating, y'all start liking each other. A relationship might fold, y'all going out, you see that she's a little more popular than you thought. You around <laughs> some guys, you know, you meet new friends. They're like, oh, you fuck with uh Keisha. Keisha. Keisha is a freak name. Keisha stays. Keisha is all names. And I use Keisha Boy, and everything. Keisha, yeah, Keisha and I don't need to use Keisha. Because you know my first my first initial in my name, you will forget. 
But then I don't mean to use Ke- I use Keisha everything. Keisha is a freak. Keisha's a freak. That's why I use Keisha. And I use Keisha for everything. Keisha was a whole fucking freak growing up. Oh, man, I'm not even her. a freak, and I use Keisha for everything. You call her the dog mode. Now she wants to be a wife, but Keisha got a whole background. My name is Keon. I don't use Keisha. Keisha got a whole background that she never like shared Keisha. with her. I use Keisha for everything. Keisha like getting banked. Keisha was a swinger. Keisha like girls. Keisha was out shit. She's fucking. So now her unexpected She's boyfriend is like, damn, I didn't know you was in all this shit. He <laughs> might be with it. He might be upset that he could have been having more fun with you if they would have communicated with each other because he's into the same thing. The whole time he was a swinger. His him and his ex-wife was a swinger. You get what I'm saying? Right. Keisha and and, and God there, give me a black guy name. James. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha I'm about James. to say James. James is always a black Keisha man. Keisha and name. James should have communicated. <laughs> The first year or two of their relationship, and they'd have had a greater, even more fun experience because they probably would have been exclusively dating a long time ago if they knew that they were both into the same thing. Because Keisha okay, doing so this, James doing that. What is your fantasy? One of them, a fantasy that I, I, I think I did all my fantasies. One of my fantasies was me and five women, and I topped it twice with six. Oh, wow. Yes. That was one of my fantasies. I don't, I don't, I don't the no reason fantasy it was one of my right fantasies now. is because wait, I wait. seen Ron Jeremy with 15 and I was a kid and I was like, <laughs> I mean, high five with Ron Jeremy. I was like, and guess what? This other Ron, ass white man. Hold up, no. He's not even white. He's, he's not even white. He's he fucking, ain't. no. He's like, um. Native American or something? No, he's not, I'm Native American. He's not Native American. He's fucking like Jewish or something. He's Ron Jeremy. Man, Y'all don't even know who Ron Jeremy is. Whoever the case might be, that nigga Harry, suck his own white dick. Man that he suck his own dick. And when I say, let me put your hold up. Let me let me this out. When I wanted to meet some porn stars back in the days, he was one. It was three. I met Jim Jameson. Okay, legend. No shade. She married Tito Ortiz. Oh, my husband is everything to her. Yeah, she's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I had met Vanessa Dario. Okay. My grandmother, no shit, recipes to my grandma, my grandma, love Vanessa. Yeah. That bitch fuck horses and animals. Yeah, Do you hear me? Bad. Okay? I saw shit when I was 16. Like this bitch. Like yeah, I'm 40. And I bad. wanted to meet Ron, Ron Jeremy. And these are the three people that I met. These three are pictures. I'm going to post these pictures. Hey, right, listen. These are my favorite porn stars back in the days. My grandmother showed me these people, okay? Always wanted to meet Belladonna and wonder how the fuck you allow a grown man to stick his whole forearm. Yes. Uh, Belladonna is nasty. Yeah. That bitch taking any pussy she... ass. You put any dick bruise I saw that bitch dick a house in her ass and her pussy. A fucking car limo. This bitch would does it. And I fucking respect that bitch because I'm not doing that shit. I saw her get banked by 10 days, man. I was like, yeah. I love Belladonna. Yeah. But these was the three that I wanted to meet, and it was Jim Jameson because you know business wise. And I told you these people was like business people I met, and I met these people when I first started doing porn ten years ago. All right, have pictures. I'm gonna post so, these pictures to get back to the topic real quick. Okay, go ahead. The reason we got, we got my fantasies is because I wanted to know how much work I had to put in before I really passed. The and well, you're not ready for that. A threesome is serious because you really have to focus on two women. The good thing about having more than two women, they can focus on each other. You get what I'm saying, Kay? They might them yeah. two need each other out, them two need each other out. Now it's just you and two girls. Then after a while, you start going around to the other sets of individuals and you made sure that you pleased or was pleasured by everybody. All the way until the point where you can't take it no goddamn more. You get what I'm saying? And I did that twice. My fantasy was complete. I don't give a fuck. What else? You want to know what my next fantasy is? I want to fuck on a million hours. I want to be for a million hours me too. and have sex with that motherfucker. Oh, me That's too. my last fantasy. I did every fucking thing. Else. Me too. Well, he always speak my fantasy because my fantasy is fucking on a million dollars too. No. <laughs> fucking on some money. And I was like, idea. I was like, ooh, let me money. just fuck on this money. I'm going to roll around on it. That's it. Here. I feel like I feel like I've done everything in my fantasy that yeah. I ever want to do. I've done yeah. it. I've been there and done it. But not on a million dollars. Not that money made on the money you make it. Give, give I didn't fuck the money. Give me fake. Bands, I, I if it can be fake bands. for me, Miss, you should have that fake money. You put a fake money out and put all over the place. I'm fucking on the money. Still, I'm it's good. still that mental fantasy, right? It's my right. mental fantasy right there. I'm, trust me, I'm with that. Fake money or real money. <laughs> Period. 
All right, so two questions, and we out of here. Uh, I'm going to take, take these last two questions from the audience. No, no, no. They short. short. No, we're going to do those later. That's all right, then. Yeah. Good. I'm listening to the same. we do those later. I'm going to just get through my little questions. Okay, so what makes sex boring? Basic. Did we already talk about the basic? The word basic. Ain't very basic. You know, back in the day, head and all that was illegal. A woman not, I feel like a woman not. You say you don't suck the way she's supposed to be. They don't suck pussy. Do that. That's boring. It's on a boy. I'm not. I'm not coming. I'm not coming over. It's on a boy. I'm not coming over. And what's your favorite way to get off? I was told by a lot of women that most niggas that they dealt with, like he, I like to fuck. I like to fuck. I'm not gonna bust off no head. Not saying I have it. I mean, you got some guys that definitely will bust off a head. It'd be done. Right. See, Ain't no pussy after that. He don't right. even want it. Right. Right. I bust off right. a head, but I right. stay hard. That's what I'm saying. I I saying like me, I'm personally, I can't. You suck my pussy and I bust. If I do bust, I want. I'm gonna go to sleep. sleep. I feel like I'm a nigga. <laughs> I'm like a nigga when I get my. You roll over, go to sleep. You're good. You should, I'm like should a nigga. Kept going. Kept going. I promise you, I'm like a nigga. You suck the scoochie, I'm like, oh, okay, you're not buzzing. Mm. I like I'm to nine. fuck. I love the feeling of fucking. I like to grip, grab, feel, dominate, hold, feel the deep yeah. attention of a woman. I love it. The head good yeah. too, but if, if, I'm a wanna fuck. If a woman over a period, don't oh, come over and get this wild. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, I don't want the head. Well, I want to fuck. I will wait till you get off the period. But you, but you got to understand when a woman on a period, like she's trying to, like, basically, I got a man. It's different so when you got a my, No, but you understand, I got a man. So my job is if I can't fuck you with my coochie, you gotta use your mouth or your booty hole. I'm going to use my mouth. I don't have a problem using my booty hole, but I need to rain use my booty hole. <laughs> and I like to make it. But my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna suck my man dick cause ain't no bitch gonna we'll suck you gonna we'll fuck you. Suck it. Suck this shit out of you. I'm gonna eat your I dick. You just hit. If you say over it come through, I'm gonna suck your dick. I'm not coming. I don't have those issues. I want to fuck. I want to fuck. I don't have those issues with my man. So <laughs> I'll be like, I make up. Yeah, I'm something. good. I got, I got a motor, so I, I got motor dishes. So I call you back. <laughs> You got a motor dishes. That's my refrigerator <laughs> door open. I got to go home and close that thing. That means I got a motor dishes. How you motor dishes? I can't stand you. I can't stand you. I water my laundry. I can't do it. You got to what? I water the laundry. You got to water the laundry. You got to water the laundry. You got to water the laundry. He got a wooden lawn. He got a wooden dish. I love. Don't get the fuck up. I need some head. I want some head before we start fucking. While we fucking between us fucking. So don't think I don't like head. I mean, when we don't like head, just give me some head. You know. When it comes to my mission, we definitely gonna talk about that one too. A whole other topic. So we gonna move right along to why she's sexist. And my sexist is six easy ways to spice up your sex life. So you know, do answer. I don't want to have a problem. It's crazy tonight. All right. Make things more interesting in the bedroom. Doesn't have to be complicated. Try these simple tips to create more heat between the sheets. Mm-hmm. Number one. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try something new. Start with simple like yeah. a different position, sex toys, role play, to dress up or ch- or change. You know, change some things up in the in the bedroom area. Just just change it up. Next. Hang on, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna keep on going. <laughs> no, I'm just I I really have Make no out like teenagers. Intimacy. That's what I get from. Channel your inner teenager and kiss, hug, touch each other, arousing ways and and snuggle with your partners like. When you first met, so like you said, I need it. Everything is about intimacy. I need that intimacy. The love, the affection, the cuddle, and the When you get older, kind of, you don't even want to crack unless it's a little bit like that. Like real talk, if I if I don't want to really get it in, but you know, like you, but you know how it is when they say when you in a teenage you love, you see somebody like damn, I got a little bubble gut feeling. Like if I like you, mm-hmm. like I got a teenage like or whatever the case might be, but I'm. Still saying at the end, mm-hmm. 
still make me feel good. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm I'm bougie now. If I don't want to do some shit with you, if I ain't trying to really fuck you, eat your pussy, I might even eat your ass. I don't want to fuck you. I'm bougie too. Yeah. There's no point. Well, it, it's going to be boring sex. I'm not giving that. <laughs> you know, you know, it's 2020. Who the fuck is giving a boring sex? Boring. I don't want to. I want my sex life to be amazing. Everything about my sex life has to be fucking amazing. It has to be fucking good. Because that's it. if you give me some honorable ass sex, and I'm not giving you some dry, honorable ass sex, we ain't gonna make it. That body still counts. That is. He cracked. I'm a female. <laughs> I ain't twirling. What did you K? Uh uh uh. What'd she say? The hoodoo shit. Small. Oh, yeah. The hoodoo shit. Hey. Shh. Shh. Listen, y'all ain't see that shit of Queen's calling, but it's fucking. Google that shit and watch that shit. Or even you see that shit and see what Samoa's talking about. That hoodoo shit. Samoa's getting there. Some more. Some Some more. Come on. Ain't nobody got to wait. What? I don't even know what that is. That's a nice schedule, romantic activity. Take time out to spend with your partner and one of the most loving things that you can do with each other. So take turns of picking out an activity and y'all connect more passionately with your partners so just did you understand what i said everybody don't just want a chicken box and netflix bro. they don't some people no. some women get off by being shown off they like looking pretty they like putting them lashes on they like throwing them clothes on they bought from the mall two weeks ago that outfit they bought for fashion over last month on the internet they want to wear it. That's why I said take time out to spend with your partner. It's one of the most loving things that you can do with each other. So take turns picking out activities and y'all connect more and passionately with your partner. You like you gotta connect. Passionately. 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 I mean he said passionately. Because people don't understand what I mean about a why are you laughing? Did you say it like something? I get Actually, it. I get it. I like it. You might, not. A chicken but, box and Netflix is cool at least once a week. But every time y'all box. hanging out, I mean, yo, some people. This nigga said chicken box. Chicken, which one? Shrimp tea steak? You feel me? What else niggas order? Some lamb chops? Whatever. A meal and some Netflix is cool. You did in the background. I'm cool. Sorry. I'm cool getting two dozen crabs and kicking it in the house watching the game. At Brad, least once a week, but that's not about me. Everything we do, we gotta things. go out. But we gotta you be seen. Start thinking smart. That's I'm not thinking dumb. Turn it on. Okay, so <laughs> next, share your fantasy. So it's important to use your imagination and share the most exotic desires with your partner. Set the mood by lighting candles and. Play romantic music. Ooh. That's textually. Throw some old Usher on. Oh, Usher. Some Maxwell. I tell how passionate you're trying to get. Shit, you get those three six mafia in that motherfucker. No, you better throw no damn three six mafia. Club, uh, Why? Club, uh, don't get there, club, uh, nigga. That shut the hell up slow, on this damn party. show. Yeah, no, he's not slow, gonna slow, throw no three six mafia. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. ain't nobody about to fuck that. That's her fantasy to get choked out with Project Pat lyrics. You can get choked <laughs> out the fucking Usher. Yeah, but it's a slow choke. She trying to get beat up. What you do it? A woman with a fantasy of getting beat up. No, you do not beat up, but you know what I'm saying? Thing. Rough. You do a bitch up in Emerson Avenue. It we saw some bitches that <laughs> like seriously. That's in the mood. That's a grown ass woman. Listen, that's really want to get choked. Some good I've ass dealt with women that had rape. Claims. You're fucking. Don't listen to them. So you're fucking right. So women had rape claims. Don't worry about that for all that shit. So you fucking right. Mm. So you fucking. You in the groove. Smash the plans. Twelve grand. I don't give a fuck what's playing. Something so sexy. And you start grabbing. You just like everything it's is five fun. o'clock so, on the dot. And she say slap. Hey, I bet you ain't gonna do that. What? I told you, remember a couple episodes ago, I told about the girl that wanted me to fuck out her butt? She said, it's hurt me. Was one of bitch. The key word was hurt me. That was a key word. In the middle of sex, I be fucking, she was in my ear. And you wonder why you probably ain't got a man right now, sis. Period. I don't know what she's doing right now. She ain't got a man. So next, watch porn. 
<laughs> that bitch ain't got a bag oh, because no. she want to be stupid like that. I used to put that on her face, but then tell her bitch go watch some porn. Okay, bitch. I'm saying that's probably what did it. Now she probably watch some booty porn. Now she want to know. No, I'm not. Her. She just want to bitch because she just want to get fucked for a hard. Like, shut she up. Like that shit. And that's why she's single. Shit. But no man. Ones. They be the ones. The nigga walk around with a whip. All types of shit. I be seeing all Niggas types of shit. Niggas don't be walking around with no whip. I see some all types of shit. Collar. Not- Collar around the bitch neck in the bedroom. All that. Niggas and walk vice around vice, with a whip. Vice versa. The woman got the that. with the guy around the collar. All that. Yeah. I mean, I've seen shit like that. And like, like when it becomes like a, a, a sex adventure, like you got some shit going on. Walking around with that shit. You got some daily bedrooms like that, too. Daily. I know daily bedrooms. Damn. But walking around with this shit like outside in public, like niggas is walking around with that shit. It's a lifestyle. I see a lot of lifestyle shits. I watch a lot of fucking shit that's on a lot of live shows, Thomas and Max, HBO kind of shit. And you wonder how they found each other? Because they communicate. It's a mystical thing. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a and shit. I know about all that shit. Tra- listen, like- don't get it fucked up because you already know the fuck I'm out. I don't know people, what this shit is about. Right. Watch your phone. Yeah, with that. Real couples explore sexual. We just talking about couples. We just talking about your fucking freak nasty ass motherfuckers that ain't getting shit. She right. Shit ain't shit. Oh, you fuck is funny. I'm being real. Anyway, couples explore sexual position techniques, common sutra position, exotic massages, and some links to give or sex. Right. With different stuff. You gotta do different stuff. If every time we fuck, you do the same two positions. Um, you start off with the same way you suck pussy, suck dick, and y'all do two positions and y'all bust and roll over. Eventually, it's gonna be a situation where somebody's gonna expect more. Y'all watch all this porn and don't fuck no different way. Y'all watch all these cooking well, networks, I mean, cooking porn, channels, and cook but, the but same points, shit. It shows you that you can do different positions in different Right, so ways. explore. Do it. Do it. You're not going to keep I, typing I'm not in. trying to tell them not to do it. Do this shit. Do I, it. I'm an ex porn so, so I'm telling you to do this shit. If you want to fucking instill a bitch, fucking instill a fan. I don't give a fuck. I'm this and they trying to tell you. Just do this shit. Yeah, I'm with that. I mean, we, we said watch porn, but I want to go back to shit your fantasy. And I say it's important to use your imagination and share your most exotic desires mm-hmm. with your partner. It's that the mood by lighting candles and playing romantic music. There's nothing wrong with playing and role playing something different. Yeah. Candles, music. I like role playing. You just was talking a whole nother goddamn shit. I just want these people That's to the know. That's a form of role playing. Understand. But I can go deep in the role play. I can start off at the bar well, hanging out. Okay, but I at the at the at the at the goddamn skydiving yeah, spot. Because he's so used to being on hood bitches. Cold he has all he fucking knows, so he don't know like okay, so other different kind of bitches is like some different shit. Them bitches so be the ones that like that shit. Them little bougie little bitches. Project, but they be the ones bougie that bougie like bitches. the same thing. They like you to role play at the bar. You got bougie bitches. I went to the bathroom and I came bitches. back and like I don't know you. I'm trying to holler at you. I'm telling you my name is Jerome and shit. They like that shit. Okay, so the candles and the music and something sensual and sometimes that's cool too. Okay, so it's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying that to like you. I never want to give. I like candles. I like I rose petals. I like a little aromatic water uh bubble bath shit. Yeah. So back to what I was saying. So back with washing porn. <laughs> Middle couples explore sexual position techniques, common sutra positions. Okay. They be having some wild shit now. Oh, the common sutra. The common sutra is amazing. Ain't it? The nigga leg was behind short head. Wow, it, I mean, it's all the way around here, and it'd be like here. With his leg up like oh, this. Oh, there's like, different shit. But you right, like. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go to the conversation. The conversation is amazing. It's like. And it's, and it's for any size wood you got. You ain't got to have no long, arm strong, Tony Hawk, motherfucking shit. Not to do conversation, no. You do that. Okay, so um, I said conversation positions, exotic massages. Mm-hmm. Sometimes to give or sex. 
different position in the Kama Sutra. Like hang your head off the bed. And oh, like Kama, the Kama Sutra is fucking amazing. Listen, we're going to talk more about Kama Sutra on the show. And we're going to definitely act out some positions. In Kama Sutra. We're going to have some live demonstrations. I'm not saying me you. But we're some live demonstrations. It's going to act out the fucking code. That's going to be fun. Kama Sutra. That's going to be fun. Give me some. You got the book? I know you got the book, my right? So. I have all game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, dice. I've been learning Kama Sutra for years. Put your foot on her head. Yeah. Put your leg behind her. Like, are we playing twisting and shit? Left foot green out this motherfucker. Right hand yellow. The side of your head or red and shit. Your whole neck big. Yeah, back of blue. Your ass and coochie on rainbow. Yeah, there you go. Some shit. I'm just there in this thing. You never know. And and that's that's how, you you, you that. fucking in ways you never would have thought. Because some old right. guy from 5000 BC put that shit together. They've been fucking. Believe it. <laughs> So, I, I know I feel like that shit too. They been fucking. No shade. Okay, so um. <laughs> she said, "Be the suburb chicks." Hell yeah, and, and the church girls. Okay, so the last question of this, not even question, is this, this, you know, a sex tip. Seek a sex service. <laughs> Consider it seeing a certified sex therapist. A certified sex therapist. <laughs> I think everybody already got one. Remember, I told you about Shorty and how she could find it in me. Hold up, dog. I didn't hear the shit out. Yeah. It don't got to be a professional. It could be your homegirl. It could be your aunt. It could be anybody that really just lets you express your mm-hmm. thoughts mentally. So I say, considering the scene of certified sex therapy, it can be about sex education, growth, and sex and development. I agree. Because Auntie can show you and tell you some shit. Oh, you know see your grandmother, your mother. Your homegirl probably started fucking when she was 17. You started oh, when you was 18. Right. But in that one year, she got it in. She seen some shit. She did some shit. She probably was on the underground shit. Probably was selling the rock for 40 hours. She could probably teach herself. You know what I'm saying? Much. All right, so I'm about to get ready to move into Luscious Sex Facts, and then we're going to answer the questions what our viewers have to say. It's only two good ones. It's okay. Diamond King might got something too, so we don't know. Okay, so let's just sex facts. Pay attention to your partner. These signs, if they will let you know when they are happy or not, if you don't fix those problems, someone else will. Agreed. I ain't gonna let her let herself refer to it. So now we're moving on to the sex question about tonight's topic. All right. Even one of y'all. One person said, What if what you say turns that person off? Sometimes that can happen because I mean you might get some situation like I may say something or female might like a bit body breath, mm-hmm. no breath or the body odor or their personal pants. It'd be like, oh my god, I'm turning off. Say, say it. like you know how we communicate. Like, I'm, but I'm, so, I'm just telling you. You know how niggas? It's always a man. That shit don't bother me. I don't trip about that shit. I ain't worried about that shit. But when she tell you what she done been through and you looking at her like. It turns you off. Don't say you with this shit saying you not. If she was comfortable with I mean, she I had tell situations you situations like that before. What I, she I wanna like, do okay, you scared. You know, X, Y, and Z. And I look at it like is. this. You didn't waste no pussy and you ain't waste no dick. Yeah, that's true that. That's I, how I, like. I had situations like that before. Don't be ashamed of what you like. At the end of the day, if you like what you like, you like it. If you ashamed, then you shouldn't be doing it. That's it. Period. That's it. I know people that got wife real quick. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go too much into detail, but it ended up being a gangbang at one of my parties. She was in there with four or five niggas. Damn. This guy walked in, I don't know if he was a fifth or sixth nigga. Damn. That was three years ago and they still together to this day. Wow. End of the story. So don't be afraid to share what you like because you don't know who like that shit too. Well, she tells him shit that his ass is ain't gonna wear. Man, he was the last guy. And I know that when I left, he was still in there. So he he must have liked what was going on. Shit. Interesting question. What up? How do you spice up a sex life for a couple that's been together for years? Ooh, that's my fear. <laughs> Me personally. So they already know each other. So what do you do? If you haven't already have done what you already have done, even romantic dates, 
doing different different sex positions out of the home. Like you can be out in a car, you can be outside or anything else, or doing some different things at your vacation. Do something different. Like I listen, I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over and over them years. We doing the same shit in the bed. That's just that's if you ain't even done anal sis do it. Honestly, I think every relationship is gonna have a dry area where there was no sex or enticement going on at all for a period. I'm not having that in my relationship. For a period of time. I'm not having that in my relationship. Um, I'm not saying you are, but what I'm saying is, I believe at some point everybody goes through that, and it's so it's gonna be so rudimentary that you won't even notice it if you still love that person. I mean, that's true. Though. If you still love it's that true. person, you it's won't true. notice it. He might work a certain schedule. You might work a certain schedule. Right. Or yo, just, y'all just no, you never just come in the house. Y'all lit, but y'all get in the bed and cuddle a little too long, and y'all go to sleep. And when y'all wake up, y'all got shit to do. No sex for nobody. That might go on for three weeks. Mm-hmm. Do something different. Dye your hair. Wear a different type of outfit to be. Wear a different wig. What's the right? Get that shape up. You know, after a while, you get scruffy. You, you cool with being around your girl. Be somebody different. Shape up. It's, so right. it's, it's not a problem to wear different Get a different style of shoes. Or make something. yourself look different with, with your wigs, your outfit, your shoes. Put some lashes like, on. Get your yeah. nails done. Entice do something. What? Do something Entice different. Them. Come out the shower, them. ass naked, and just stay naked. Get in the bed like that. Entice, entice your man. That's very important. If you don't know how to cook, cook. Entice your man. Do something different. Bake him some cookies. You don't bake? Bake him some cookies. She said some cookies. The fuck is nothing wrong with that? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you don't know how to bake. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So if you want to bake your man some cookies, what's wrong with baking your man some cookies? Even nigga some crabs. You don't know what you like. But that's my advice. Just please do something different. Um, like you heard what Megan and Cardi say, switch my leave so that nigga think he cheating. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that should work. It you know, Cardi B also said what she said. She don't cook or clean. She don't cook or she don't clean and she still got to bring it. I cook and clean. I get one yet. So we ain't talking about that, but she was on my shit because she rich. <laughs> Somebody and, agreed with the with the whole pulling thing. They, she said she was married before and that shit worked on that behalf when she got born. They watched porn and he did that. Let's try that and he did it. Just now. So what do you want to sell her on, on that part? I was saying that that she agreed with what you said. Like she's letting it be known. Like she's listening. Like, Cause we talked about that all of them. So okay. she's been on here for a minute. Um the second question, real quick, Kay. Um, somebody mentioned the period thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody just not into that. She said, How come guys don't do it? Some people just not into that. Um I like it sometimes, but I don't like it all the time. I like clean, so, you know, nasty. It's a de- definitely so when a woman clean, comes up pretty, she's is definitely cleansing herself. I want to get free as fuck. I don't want to smell right. nothing. I don't want to have to limit myself because blood in my dick. None of that shit. Yeah, I don't want none of that shit. Pretty just think. So if you like it, you with that. You know, some people like that. You know, some people like funk. Some people like smell. Some people like. I was told not to wash one time when I came over. I didn't go. Come down there. But that's another story. You got any more questions before we get out of here? Nothing that y'all haven't already talked about. So, I love you, boys. Once again, Ricky Gambini, the live guard. They disabled my social medias. All I have is my backup Facebook page at Ricky Gambini. Uh, make sure y'all holler at me. Um, let me know what's going on. Club Seduction, 6820 Eastern Avenue. Even though we do COVID restrictions, we are open. Wednesdays, crab and karaoke. I have a big, big, big party December 12th. Hit me up for tickets on my Facebook or in person, and we out here. You know, listen, listen, we're gonna talk, but you already know, live God and be, you know it. So, y'all already know, you ain't gonna keep on my Instagram page. You can follow me on Instagram, that's Blushes Kisses One. one. I, I gotta get my new page because my shit got deleted. Insta, no, Twitter, Blushes Kisses One. I need a Twitter. Facebook luscious kisses. On my um social. Oh no, my YouTube. YouTube luscious kisses. Luscious kisses. I'm sorry, help me out because I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been I've hanging been out. Drinking. Guess I'm what? Drinking. I don't care. And I've been enjoying myself. And I ain't my show in a couple of weeks, so I don't need to make a fuck with y'all. Got to say. <laughs> what saying? Great. No. no. But I got through my shit tonight, and <laughs> that's what it's about. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tonight's was fun. I definitely enjoyed talking about this shit because I love talking about sex. Monday. So we be back. 
Next, next week. week. Next week. <laughs> Bye. You see your guys next week. I'm Luscious Kisses, and you've been kissed by. Stay live. <laughs> you know I gotta be extra just a little bit. So you see your guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>